Hey there, all makers including me use breadboards for testing their projects. To power these circuits, I usually use this type lithium ion battery, but we can directly connect the battery to the breadboard. Also, if I want 5 volts or 3.3 volts, then I have to use an extra 5 volt or 3.3 volt regulator. To solve these problems, I decided to build a breadboard power supply. So here it is. We can set the output voltage by selecting the jumper connector here. We can use a micro USB, an external battery or barrel jack to input the power. Also we can use 5V USB output from the board. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this breadboard power supply. Let's get started with this video. So these are the standard breadboards, the left one is GL12 and this is MB102. This is the high quality and commonly used one. So I am designing the supply for MB102. This is the circuit, here I included the 5V and 3.3V regulators, rest is the connectors and header pins. So after designing the circuit, I converted the circuit into a PCB and I designed the PCB. After designing the PCB, our PCB looks just like this. After that, I generated and downloaded the Gerber file for PCB fabrication. To fabricate PCBs, I went to jlcpcb.com. I chose jlcpcb because their PCB quality is awesome and you will get 5 PCBs for just $2. To order PCBs, just click on order now and upload the Gerber file. After uploading, select the color and quantity. Here I choose black color and finally I chose shipping method and place the order. After 2 weeks, I received the blue pack from JLC PCB. Here are our PCBs. And see, the black color is nice and the PCB quality is superb. Now I grabbed all components and started the soldering job. This is just the placing of components on its part and soldering, nothing to say, so enjoy this show. After finishing the soldering job, our PCB looks like this and I placed it on a breadboard. We can use this switch to turn on and off the supply. On the two sides you can see three header pins. Here we can select the voltage by using the jumper connector. These two white headers are for taking the output power to other modules. Also we can take 5 volts from the USB socket. In the input section we have a micro USB, a barrel jack and a JST socket for external battery. Now let's test. First I connected the micro USB and it is working. Now I connected a 7.4V battery to the supply. Now let's check the output. As you can see the voltage is 
and now I change the connector and the voltage becomes 5 volt. So this is a useful project right? Anyway you can find the circuit diagram and module details from our site, link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, consider supporting me by like, share and subscribing. It's all up to you. I will see you next time. Bye.